Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is episode three of the camper renovation. If you're new here, my name is Sarah. My husband and I are renovating our 2017 Keystone Ultralight camper. Obviously, it didn't really need any repairs. We're just giving it a facelift. And in episode three, we're gonna be talking all about this wallpaper back here. It is peel and stick. It was super easy to install, and I've used it to create a couple of accent walls in the trailer, which I will show you now. So in this episode, I'm going to be teaching you exactly how to install peel and stick wallpaper in your own camper or home. It's pretty much the same regardless of where you're installing it. And if you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below. Hey guys, welcome back to the camper. So today I am going to be putting some peel and stick wallpaper on this wall back here. I've already done it in a little section of the camper and I really like the way that it looks and I bought two rolls so now I'm going to try and figure out which other areas that I want to put it in but I thought that this spot back here would actually be really nice because it is a curved piece and the mattress probably sits up until about like almost this we have a really thick mattress because we're not like sitting on anything um, so my first step is going to be to measure how long the panels need to be. The panels themselves are like 20 and a half inches wide. So I think that I am going to need three panels, maybe three and a half. I'm not quite sure, but because I am in such a like tight space working, I am going to go ahead and pre-cut my pieces so that I am not messing with a bunch of excess paper back here. So First step is going to be to measure. And I am going to make sure that I am holding this. Half, 20 and a half. Let's get to cutting. This is the wallpaper. Um, I got it on Amazon. I will definitely link it below. It comes in this color as well as like a black mustard version, which also looks really pretty. So um, I'm gonna take my measuring tape. I am going to cut this into like 38 inch sections. I just realized that I don't have to go all the way to 40 because the mattress is 10 inches. So it's gonna cover 10 inches of it. So if I can just use what I have and not have to start another roll, then that's what I'm gonna do because the mattress is always there. So nobody would ever see if there was like a gap like this on the bottom. So I'm gonna get to cutting. So I'm gonna take my straight edge and I have a cutting mat under here. So I'm gonna go right to the 36 inch mark and that's where I'm gonna make my cut. All right, so I'm back in the master bedroom area and these walls have been cleaned. I have painted my oil-based paint all the way around and it is dry, so that's kind of what I was waiting on. I did last night remove, there was a, I don't know, like inch thick, just piece of like pressed board here to cover up this seam, which is, I'm assuming they did because of the curve in here. But I knew that if I would put paper over it, it was just going to be really kind of noticeable. So I just took a screwdriver and popped it off. I thought about maybe filling this little line with wood filler, but I honestly don't think that it's going to be super noticeable once the wallpaper goes up. So first step is going to be to line up this wallpaper in the top corner this and then I'm just going to piece by piece smooth it out as far as it goes down 
And I did from the uh, wallpaper that I did in my upstairs guest room, which was also peel and stick, which was by Walls Need Love. So I actually still have the little smoothing tool that came with that. This is just a really thick piece of felt. But this is what you're going to see me using to be smoothing this wallpaper down. So from the little experience that I have with this, the best thing to do is to remove only a little bit of the backing at first and make sure that you are straight in your corner, flush in your corner where you want to be, and then just slowly peel and smooth. Um, you can remove this and stick it back down, but what I did notice with this wallpaper is that um, if you pull too hard, you can overstretch it, which I kind of did a little bit over in that area, but thankfully it's not that noticeable. So while you can remove and stick, remove and stick, you just want to be sure that you're not like yanking on it to try to get it straight. So now you can see I have the top little portion stuck on. So I'm just gonna use my little smoothing tool and get in there. Um, so for this, what I'm gonna have to pay attention to is that I am keeping the exact same distance over here in the corner that I'm not moving inwards or towards the cabinet anymore because this is gonna be my guide for the next piece. So like if I go crooked here and it just could be a disaster. So I'm just gonna like peel smooth, peel smooth, peel smooth all the way down. used to be a little bit but trust me it's not nearly as noticeable as if that piece of trim was still there so now comes the tricky part and that's going to be lining up this second piece to match the first so a lot of times when you're lining up the pieces um, you're gonna have to overlap a little bit so this is just gonna have to be me figuring out how much that I need to overlap and praying that it's not too much so that I don't have a huge gap on the side, on the other side. So I'm trying to like show you guys real life. So this third panel, I don't know why, but it's like way off compared to the other ones. So I'm having to waste quite a bit up here um, to get it to match. And then I don't know if you can see this. There's also gonna be like a quarter inch gap over there in that corner. So that's disappointing. Um, but that's just because I had to overlap more over here than I thought I would. And it looks like I'm going to have to overlap a little bit more over here as well. So once I'm done, that's when I'm just going to have to figure out, okay, is it going to be worth it for me to cut a quarter inch piece off of the next roll or do I just paint it white? But yeah, um, just trying to show you guys real life. This is, uh. It, it, it takes a lot of maneuvering, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So, fill this back off. Yeah, I'm 
restless, so give me something to do. Yeah, I can't stay here because I need to dance. Jump, jump around and show them how I move. Uh oh, oh, oh. Everybody will be on me. Wanna join me when I take a shot? I'll be the center. All right, friends, thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of our camper renovation. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. I'll be back next week with episode four, which is going to be all about how to reupholster those usually pretty ugly RV dinette cushions. So stay tuned. Bye.